Hi all and welcome to the dev look at Broforce. Today we're having a look at the silliest indie game you can find out there by a small six person uh, indie company called Free Lives. Let's start by having a look at the options menu. They are quite minimalistic. At the moment all you can do is toggle music on or off, toggle screen distortions on or off, change your difficulty, clear your unlocks if you wish to, uh, reconfigure controls so you can play either with keyboard or game pads and all of those are reconfigurable which is quite nice I'm currently using gamepad because I prefer games like this with gamepad then you can change your name on leaderboards switch to German keyboard layout for chat if you wish to toggle full screen and select a resolution and there's quite a lot of them but I mean there's not a problem for a 2d platformer to implement those now let's take a look at the available modes of uh, yeah, modes you can play. So, first of all, you have your campaign. And you can use the world map to navigate that. Uh, this is something they recently added. Basically, shows the campaign pieces on the map. And you can fly between them on a tiny chopper. I will show you a bit later. Um, then you have a custom campaigns made by users. Which is also a neat feature. You can play online uh, with other players. We can take a look at that later. Then you have your level editor we can, where you can do a separate levels or a whole campaign. This custom campaigns come from here. Then you have your race mode, which is a versus mode. So you basically, you and your friends, up to four players at one time, can race against each other from start to the end of level. And then you have Explosion Run, which is basically a race mode, but with huge explosions behind you. And then, of course, Death Match, which is basically pitting you and your friends against each other on a tiny level. But let's continue the campaign and uh, show you what what's this game is all about. So yeah, this is a playable prototype, basically, and it's in, in your early stages of production. But I should say that this is possibly the most finished early access game I've ever seen. It's very good, it has all the core mechanics in, I will show it to you later, and yeah, it's good. So yeah, as you can see, there can be up to four players on one computer at a time, and I think multiplayer as well is limited to four, actually. Let's just start, yeah, so this is our map. I finished the first piece just to show you how you can fly around and you know, navigate it. It's quite neat. Let's, let's take and liberate the East Vietnam. So, as I already said, this game is very silly, so don't take it seriously. This game is also very reminiscent of uh, old school platformers like Contra. And we are a melee character. So, that's, that's we. And you have basically four buttons. So you have your jump. You can move, obviously. Then you have your attack. This character has a sword. And then you have your bomb, which is... I'm not... A, oh, oh, right. <laughs> so instead of bombs, he does this. And yeah, then you have your kind of knife attack. I'm not sure why he has it, because he has a huge sword, but whatever. And in multiplayer, you can as well use this to do a high five, which will slow time for a bit. And then you can save other bros. So when you save him, you turn into him. And again, a melee character. Perfect. Let's just go murder them. So, what, what's this game about? Okay, this is about murdering other characters. And it has a fully destructible environment. <clears throat> I'm sorry. So you can actually destroy everything you see in there. Not so much with the sword. Okay, let's say this guy maybe has a gun. Yes, okay. So if you have a gun, you can break pretty much anything. And then those flags are basically checkpoints. Let's just continue murdering. Oh, no, no, no. All right, save this guy. Okay, dynamite guy thing. So all of these characters are actually the uh, the movie heroes. No, 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 no. And um, I'm not so knowledgeable in the movies, so I don't know all of them. I can guess some of them. I guess this is a Mac, and I just get murdered. I guess that was a MacGyver, and this one is probably Indiana Jones, though I'm not sure. I might be horribly wrong as well. Let's kill that one. Nope. Alright, we're alive. Good. So, is there anyone down there? Ah, oh, we can... Here we go. <laughs> so I just drop bees on them. Because why not, you know? Just drop some grenade there. 
Oh, okay. He has an air strike. That's not really a grenade. All right, let's let's kill that guy. Yeah. So this game is not trying to be serious, you know, and it's it's good. It's good that it does this. Then you can do stuff like this. Uh oh, here it comes. Explosions, more explosions. I mean, that's what they promised at the end game, and then you can just yeah destroy the terrain under the spawning point of monsters and or terrorists. Okay. Uh, monsters and just look how they die horribly. Oh, yep. God damn it. Here we go, man in black. Aha, uh -huh, here we have one more. So, you might say that it might be boring to play the same, you know, guy who has two attacks all the time and the second attack is limited to like three, four things. That is true, but uh, the thing is that when you save the bra, you become him. And that brings in quite a lot of variety, actually. So you, the levels usually have a lot of different, uh, a lot of cages and a lot of bros you can save. So it kind of makes your uh, makes you vary your gameplay a lot. Let's just do this. Now was it wrong? Yeah. So let's let's save this guy. Who's that? It's a uh, ah, Mr. T with a flamethrower. Perfect. Let's, let's, let's burn these guys. Ugh. I think this will be a boss fight. Yeah, Ugh. and I just died horribly. All right. Yeah, so those guys just dropped from the sky. And I just died again. Well, I'm not very good with this game. All right. Let's try not to die this time. So this is a Judge Dredd. And he, I know. So, no, this is... We have that. Let's just blow this thing up. Die. Alright. We have a homing bullets uh, and a lot of explosions. I mean, you can imagine that if you play that game in a co op, all of this stuff happens like multiplied by four. And we just, yeah, so this is your final flag that you have to capture, and then you do this, and everything explodes into fires. This is basically. Uh, Pro Force in a nutshell. As you can see, I need to rescue four more bros until unlock of the next bro. So as you rescue more of them, you will unlock more of the different types of bros. Uh, I got dogs. Let's try his grenade. All right, that was a flashbang, I guess. Let's kill them. Save this guy and see who's, who's this. Oh, it's a bro Shetty. He uses knives. I've got. I know what I'm really curious about what what kind of attack he actually has as a, as a grenade. Okay, let's just kill all of those. Right. <laughs> this is a bit funny. Okay, um, it is getting boring. Let's just go forward. Is there anyone to save there? No, no, there is no one there. All right, let's try. Ah, uh, someone wanted to try his grenade attack. Oh well, I guess I'm just too horrible for this game. Okay, this is a Neo, or I'm not even sure how to put a bro in there. So he's a melee character, which is a bit more tricky because, yeah, these guys just keep shooting at you. So we have a Robocop. They actually have a very cool uh, grenade attack, I guess. Here we go. Homing bullets that murder everyone who you target. Let's kill those guys and then save this one. Yeah, I mean, so you <laughs> you can see how this game works. It's not a very complicated game. And it includes a lot of silliness. And I, I must say that this is a lot of fun to play with, with, with someone. So in co-op, this game is just amazing. I just unlocked Ellen Ripro. Okay. Got no idea who is it. The heck is that? Okay, I mean, let, let's just try to kill that guy. And nope, that didn't work too good. All right. Okay. Uh, oh, I'm still alive. Cool. I'm alone. Well, not anymore. Uh, yeah. So the degree of silliness that this game has is actually quite insane. Just murder those guys and then murder this guy. And here we go. 
Alright, let's... Okay, so I unlocked all the heroes that are available at the moment. I mean, as you can see, the levels usually take pretty short time to complete. Okay, let's let's do this. Oh, uh, well. Yeah, okay. That is actually pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, come on, come here. Okay, we have a... Braid, yeah, he has this... Flying attack. Uh, okay, let's let's have a look at the other modes. So I can show you the custom campaigns. So you can see like most played levels, and you can see you have the ratings here and length and modes and whatever. And even now, you know, this game is in early access. There's like tons of them here. So there's like two pages, and there's like I don't know. There's a lot of them. I guess let's just talk about the risks and the price point and wrap it up for today. So there aren't that many risks actually of buying the game now because all the core mechanics are there and even the level edit is there. So even if the creators decide not to update it anymore and just release it as, as, as is, there's already a large community that is pushing levels. I mean, you have you've saw how many custom levels are there and I'm sure there will be more. As for what I would like to see here is they haven't promised any modding fu functionality, but I, I'd love to see some mods for this. I can imagine people coming up with all the crazy types of mods and, you know, different bros, maybe additional things and levels and tiles and uh, maybe even mechanics. I mean, look at the Starbound. They have some crazy stuff going on in there. Um, yeah, that's I guess that's all I have to say about that. The game is currently $15 or your original equivalent at Steam or at the developer's website. Uh, you can get a DRM free there as well. So if you like it, just go buy it and uh, I will see you next time once it updates and that's something awesome. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe and tell me what you don't like or what you like or what you want to see next. Bye!